Caribbean Nutrition Day is observed annually on June 1st, followed by a month-long observance. During this period, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs focuses on educating and informing the public on healthy eating and active living. This year's activity is being observed under the theme, Let's Nourish to Flourish, Your Mental Health Matters. Nutritionist Fadia Campbell informs that the first celebration of Caribbean Nutrition Day was held in 2004 in response to the growing recognition of nutrition in disease prevention and health promotion. The film draws from the past three years of experiencing the COVID-19 pandemic the f and focus the attention and the needs to return on the health and mental well-being of the population. The objective of today and beyond is to promote increased consumption of fruits and vegetables and to encourage people to be more active in their lives, whether it's by walking or some form of sporting activities. Research has shown that foods can have different effects on a person's mental health. Manager for the Department of the Public Service Employee Assistance Program, Sasha Jopier James, says mental health is essential for well-being and happiness. Unfortunately, mental health and well-being are, are often overlooked or taken for granted. This leaves many people at risk for developing mental health problems such as anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder. If left untreated, these issues can become increasingly severe and lead to serious consequences such as physical injuries, impaired functioning and productivity, substance abuse and suicide. Speaking ahead of the proposed ban of sugary substance in schools, Chief Nutritionist Lisa Hunt in her address encouraged students to avoid foods with excessive sugars which, according to her, can affect the thought process and alertness. Eating poorly can make us tired and fatigued and sluggish and we may not be able to focus well and that can lead to stress and depression. Most times when people have stress and depression they think of taking an, um, antidepressants but sometimes it's all in the what you eat or your lack of physical activity. I am focusing on nutrition, but physical activity, being active, plays a very key role as well. The Wholesome Food exhibition and demonstration included a health education component, which provided the enthusiastic students with an opportunity to quiz ministry officials. The Nutrition Department of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will be hosting proper nutrition promotional activities in other parts of the island. For the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I'm Sant Justin.